In this video, I'm going to show you how to compute the definite integral of a function given its graph. So we want to compute this definite integral, integral of f of x dx from x is negative 2 to x is 4, where f of x is given by this graph below, just this peak shape here. Okay, so we've got a graph. We need to think geometrically about this integral. So what does the integral mean geometrically? Well, a definite integral geometrically, that just means the area under the curve. So we want to figure out what is this area under this curve of f of x uh, from negative 2 to 4. Just eyeballing, it looks kind of hard to compute. It's not any uh, clear-cut shape that we know. But hey look, there's a triangle here and a trapezoid here. So why don't we break this up into two integrals which are easier to compute. One that corresponds to the area of that triangle and one that corresponds to the area of the trapezoid. So using the property that integrals are additive, we can write integral um, of f of x from negative 2 to 4. We can write that as integral f of x from negative 2 to, uh, where should we stop? Where does the triangle stop here? Well, it stops, its peak is at 0. So let's make that upper bound 0. And then that's where we'll leave off for the next integral, integral um, of 0 to, well, upper bound has to be 4, f of x dx. Okay, great. So now we can go ahead and compute these easier integrals. This integral here just corresponds to the triangle. That's just this triangle here from negative 2 to 0, and we want to figure out what is this area here. Okay, so how do we compute this? Well, area of, of a triangle is just a half times base times height. So if we can figure out the base and height of that triangle, we can compute it. So let's do that. A half times base, base is just from negative 2 to 0, so the length there is 2. So a half times 2 times height, height is just up to the peak, which is at 6. So a half times 2 times 6, well the half and 2 cancel out, and we just have 6. So this integral here is just 6. Okay, we're halfway there. Now to deal with the other integral, this integral here, that corresponds to a trapezoid. We want to find the area of the trapezoid ranging from x is 0 to x is 4. So it's this shape here that we want to find the area under. Remember that the area of a trapezoid is just base 1 plus base 2 all over 2 times height. Just the average of the bases times the height. So let's try and pick out that information from here. Okay, so this trapezoid is a little odd. Remember the bases are the parallel sides of the trapezoid. So the parallel sides are actually the left and right side, not the top and bottom sides. Those sides aren't parallel. Um, so our base is actually going to be, why don't we call this, this can be um, base 1 and then that right there can be base 2. So let's go ahead and figure out these these uh, bases here. So base 1, that ranges from, it goes from 0 to up 2 units. That's a 2 there. So the length of base 1 is just 2. Okay, and now to figure out what base 2 is, well it goes from 0 to the peak here, which is at 6. Okay, so 2 plus 6 over 2, that would be the average of the bases. And now the height is now the, the horizontal, because that's the perpendicular distance between the bases. So this horizontal distance is actually the height. And now the horizontal distance, that just runs from 0 to 4, so height is just 4. And let's go ahead and compute this. So this is 2 plus 6, that's 8, and then 8 divided by 2 is 4, and then 4 times 4 is just 16. Okay, so the trapezoid has area of 16. Awesome, so now we know what these two integrals are, and when we add those two integrals, we just get the integral that we actually want to find. So we know that integral uh, from negative 2 to 4 of f of x dx is just the first integral, which is 6, plus the second integral, which is 16, and the result of that is just 22. So that's it. That's the area under the graph of f of x from negative 2 to 4, that's the integral of f of x from negative 2 to 4.
All right, here's another example. Again, we want to compute this integral f of x from negative three to four, where f of x is given by this graph below, which consists of a quarter circle, that's uh, right up here, a line segment, that's uh, right here, and a semicircle right over here. Again, we're going to be thinking geometrically. So this integral is just going to be the area under the curve of f of x. But in this case, there's going to be one particular detail that's important. It is the signed area under the curve. So that means that we have to count all the area that is below the x-axis. We have to count all that area as negative area and subtract it from the area that's above the x-axis. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and break up this integral into integrals that are easy to compute that correspond to some shapes here. All right, so, so integral of negative three to four of f of x dx equals what? Okay, so let's pick out our first shape. So going from negative three, hey, there's a quarter of a circle and that stops at negative two. So let's go ahead and make this quarter of the circle our first integral. Integral of f of x dx from negative three to negative two. Now picking up where we left off, we're picking up at negative two. So that corresponds to this triangle here. So let's see, where does the triangle end? It ends at x is zero, so that'll be our upper bound. Integral of f of x dx from x is a negative two to x is zero. And then our third integral, we'll pick it up at zero and then end at the very end four, because that's just this semicircle here. Okay, so now we've, we've broken up this integral into three different integrals, each of which corresponds to a geometric area in this graph. We'll start with the first one, integral from negative three to two of f of x, that's just this shape over here from negative three to two, that's this uh, quarter of a circle. All right, so this is a quarter circle. And how do we compute the area of a quarter circle? Well, that's just a fourth the area of a circle. And the area of a circle is just pi times radius squared. All right, so what's the radius for this circle? The center of the circle is right here at negative two and the end of the circle is at negative three. So that's a distance of one. So, so there's the radius and that distance is just one. So a fourth pi times one is really just um, a fourth pi. Okay, so that is the value of this first integral. Time to figure out the value of the second integral. This second integral um, goes from negative two to zero in x, so that's from here to here. That's just this triangle here. And how do we find the area of the triangle? Well, that's just um, a half times base times height. And then the base, we'll just use from negative two to zero, that's the base, um, so a half times distance of the base, negative two to zero, that distance is two. And then the length of the height, it goes from the x-axis zero up to the y of one. So height is just one. And so a half times two times one is just half times two is one, then times one, that's just one. All right, so that's the value of the second integral. And then the third integral, the third integral goes from x is zero to x is four. So from here to here. So we want the area of this region over here. All right, so area of the, that's a semicircle. Well, one thing, remember this is signed area under the curve and the semicircle is totally under the curve. So that means that this area should be counted as negative area. So let's just put a negative in front there so we don't forget. It's negative the area of the semicircle because it's below the x axis. Okay, so semicircle, um, that's just, uh, the area of that is just a half the area of a regular circle. So a half pi r squared, where r is the radius of the circle. Okay, so let's pick out the radius here. Um, well, the center of the circle is right over here. And then the distance from an end of the circle to the center of the circle, um, from zero to two, that distance is just two. So negative a half pi times two squared. So two squared is four, then times a half is just two. So this is negative two pi. 
That's what this third integral evaluates to. So, okay, time to collect our results and add them up. So integral from negative three to four of f of x dx is just that first integral, which evaluated to a fourth pi, plus that second integral, which evaluated to one, plus that third integral, which evaluated to negative two pi, so just minus two pi over here. And let's go ahead and group like terms. Let's group this one fourth pi and that minus two pi. Let's, uh, let's change them to have a common denominator of four. So this is pi over four, then plus one, and then minus over four, multiply top and bottom by four here and get eight pi on top. So this is just, we'll, we'll bring out the one here and then negative eight plus one here is just negative seven. So one minus seven pi over four. And there we go. That is our result. That is the total signed area under the curve. That is the integral of f of x from negative three to four. So now we know how to calculate the definite integral of a function based on its graph. And in the future, we'll learn how to use this in conjunction with the fundamental theorem of calculus to solve for the value of a function when we're given the graph of its derivative along with some initial value.